thinking about the controversy between synthetic and bioidentical hormones, these are the main big difference. Um, the chemical um, end product of the hormone is the most important difference that every patient and practitioner should remember. The synthetic hormones, they are actually for OH as strong. This is the metabolite that is uh, being used. Now, do you know that this 4-OH is actually the metabolite that we produce as we grow older as women? In menopause, this is a metabolite. So why are they giving us an end product that's already present in our system, okay? Whereas this other hormone, the 2-OH, this is the metabolite that is produced by our bodies during our reproductive years. And this is the substance that the bioidentical hormones uh, are made from, okay? Whereas the synthetic hormones, primarine, um, you know, estrogens, it is made from this metabolite for OH, and this is a dangerous metabolite for our system. We already have tons and tons of for estrone when we go into menopause. So, however, this 4-OH estrone is highly concentrated in the urine of uh, horses. So their, I guess their philosophy is, if we give, even if the woman has already 4-estrone as a metabolite in their menopausal years, if we give it in a higher concentration, maybe it will act like a, um, a live um, female hormone for them. That's probably, I'm just trying to understand why the drug company had developed a uh, metabolite that's already present in our system. Um, again, the 2-OH is a live form of hormone that is actually bioprotective. It protects us against cancer, it doesn't stimulate cell growth, and it blocks the action of strong estrogens. This is where the problem is, okay? However, uh, Horse urine, which is 4-OH, it comes in higher concentration that is given to a human female. And uh, how many pounds is uh, one um, horse? How many pounds? Can you give an idea how many kilograms is their weight? Is it like 250 kilograms or 500 pounds? And as, as opposed to a woman who's only like 170 or 180 pounds, I mean, it's a big difference on that. Okay, so therefore they directly damage the DNA, okay? Um, not therefore, but this is found in chemical reaction that it causes mutation, enhances mutation, therefore it causes cancer. These are the, this is the one that is being used in the, that famous study, WHI study in 2002 and all the females who are on um, hormone replacement therapy were taken out. They were taken out and they're a big craze in the uh, media and in the uh, conventional medicine uh, community, okay? So that's a big difference. See, they, Premarine, the 4-OH, Premarine, Prempro, these are uh, from xenoestrogens. Comes from pesticides, cosmetics, and plastics. Where do we get this data? Um, this is collected by Dr. Pam Smith in the American Academy of um, Aging Medicine, the fellowship director. This data is presented in 2010 during our conference. Remember, this data is also European data, okay? There is a famous study called uh, the Dutch study where they enrolled 80,000 women for 50 years. And they released their study in 2010 that across the board, uh, women have been um, decreased, there's a decrease of cancer rate 10% across the broad board on all age group because this is what they find. They were giving them 2-OH instead of this. The, however, the WHI study, which is 16,000, uh, it's a nurse study, 16,000 women uh, for four years. It's a government study. I want you to know, guys, it's a government study. So, but none of us knows about the Dutch study, correct? Yeah. They never put that in, a, in the media. So th this is basically just a summary of the, um, you know, the difference between synthetics 
and validate performance from this alone. You know, even if you're not a uh, doctor, if you're not a uh, healthcare practitioner, just knowing the difference of the two will ha help you to uh, think twice about going into uh, synthetic hormones. And if the primary source of the synthetic 4-OH uh, hormone is from horse urine, what, what are the primary sources for the bioidentical 2-OH estrogen? The primary source of these are uh, uh, plants. Uh, there's a 1987 uh, Harvard study where they uh, uh, took um, five uh, plants like uh, spinach, uh, cabbage, uh, Brussels sprouts, kale. These are uh, the major component of uh, estrogen in the, um, in the 2-OH. That's why it's a plant source, uh, bioidentical. Okay? Even the progesterone is yam source, plant source. Okay, again, difference, uh, animal hormone, plant hormone, big difference. Thank you. <laughs>